an epic lookbook today. ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Through my channel Busby Style, my goal is to help women just like you who are busy, juggling life, look like you have your act together, even if you don't. Today I want to share with you an epic lookbook. This is lookbook number two for the season. This lookbook will pepper in a little bit more of summer, so kind of leading you into the summer season. This lookbook is really geared for the woman leading the casual lifestyle, so that would be the stay-at-home mom, the work-from-home mom. Maybe you don't have kids, but you work from home or you have a very casual lifestyle. This lookbook is for you. It is sponsored by Nordstrom. I'm so thrilled and excited that they have asked me to partner with them again on a video project, so yay for that. <laughs> I'm featuring a lot of looks. I just want to get started and dive right in. The first look I want to talk about is an everyday throw on dress that's also chic, that's also sophisticated. It's a black tank dress with a lot of ruching at the torso around the waist area. So that ruching really creates a flattering fit. And the tank, the straps are wide enough, so if you want to wear a regular bra, you absolutely can. I would just say wear a black bra because even if the straps peep out a little bit, it's not gonna be a big deal. So the first way I styled this was just a basic and almost dressier way with a pair of black mules by Vince Camuto and a really cute little black and white striped satchel from Soul Society. The second way I styled this look is a little bit more casual. So all you do is wear the same dress and then you throw on a chambray shirt over it, knot it at the bottom, throw on some cute chic sneaks and you are totally ready to roll. The other thing I love about this dress besides the versatility and the flattering fit is the length. You know we don't always want to show a lot of leg, we sometimes want to be a bit more conservative, so it's a really nice length and I appreciate that about this dress. So those are the first kind of couple looks that I wanted to show you, just a couple of different ways of styling that black tank dress. The next key piece I wanna move on to, so we started with the black tank dress and now we're gonna talk about white shorts. So shorts are really tricky, especially as we get a little bit up there in age. You may not feel comfortable wearing shorts, you may not want to wear shorts, but shorts are a necessity if you live in a really hot climate. Shorts are great to throw on if you do feel comfortable in them, if you do feel like you don't mind showing off your legs. I happen to like shorts. These white scallop shorts by J. Crew, I think are really lovely and sophisticated. They're a really nice length. I would call that inseam about four inches. I love this scallop detailing at the bottom. So there are a couple ways that I styled these shorts that I wanted to show you. The first way is with a really cute black scallop top cami by Topshop. So that classic quintessential black and white chic combination, always the winner. And then I tied that together with a couple of accessories that have the combination of black and white. So that Panama hat that's black and white and also that Soul Society satchel that's black and white. It just really kind of ties the whole look together. These looks I wanted to give you options with footwear so you could easily just wear the black mules I just showed you from the black dress outfit. Or you could wear these cute white Vince Camuto booties, summer booties I would call these. Or you could just do a flat, like a really chic black flat or you could do a summer sandal. You know, it's totally up to you. I wanna make sure you have options because I know a lot of you can't wear heels and you wanna be comfortable. But you can also add a blazer to these shorts, like this beautiful white blazer and create that shorts suit. You can create your own short suits with separates and it can be black or white or color or whatever you want, but it doesn't have to be a matching set. So this would be an example of a set that is not matching, but it looks really lovely together. The shorts are whiter, the blazer is more of an ivory color, and I've talked about that before, just mixing those tones. It really adds some depth and interest to the look. So if you wanted to really step up your game, be a little bit more fashion forward, maybe out to dinner, do something unexpected, you could throw on that blazer with the scallop shorts and the cami and some really gorgeous black heels and you're just totally up in your game with that look. 
Another way to wear these same shorts is with this really sweet turquoise gingham top. It's by J. Crew, and I just knotted the top and added a chic pair of knot front mules by Mark Fisher. This outfit reminds me so much of an outfit that I wore when I was 25 and did the whole summer in the Hamptons thing. This was one of the go-to looks that I wore back then, and it just reminded me of that, and I, I thought it was just really fun. There are solid options in this shirt. You could do a solid option. You could do a chambray shirt. You could do something really lightweight, paper thin cotton. It doesn't have to be this strong print, but I just wanted to show you an idea of something that you could do that would be really lovely for spring summer. I've gotten a lot of questions about pajamas. So cute pajamas that are also kind of sexy and you feel comfortable in them. I found this pair, this set by Topshop in black and white polka dot and I thought it was really cute, but not too cute, do you know what I mean? It still feels sophisticated and I loved that it was very lightweight and it will keep you cool at night. And then I thought it would be fun to style this jammy top in one of the outfits. I don't know, I love to think outside the box and I also like to get maximum use out of my pieces and so you could take that jammy cami, I like that jammy cami. So with the joggers, a pair of really sophisticated mules by Vince Camuto, one of my favorites, and then that same white blazer I showed you earlier that's very lightweight, a perfect summer weight blazer. So it just really elevates that um, jogger, it elevates the cami, all all together it looks very sophisticated when really you know you and I know it's a jammy cami <laughs> you're wearing your jammies Another quick shorts outfit I wanted to show you is a pair of blank NYC slightly distressed denim shorts with a really pretty flowy paper thin cotton top by Madewell. I just felt like this top was just so perfect for summer. It's so breezy and light and flowy. And then you've got your cute shorts on. These are a little bit on the shorter side. So depending on how you're feeling about the shorts in general, you may not wanna go with this exact pair. I will put a link to this pair and then I will also put a link to one that is a little bit longer in the inseam length. So if you wanted a more conservative length, I'll give you an option there as well. I wanna show you some traditional jeans. These jeans are awesome. They're by Madewell. They're incredibly high rise, so in the belly button. Just classic and clean and nice. There's no rips, there's no tears, there's not a lot of fuss or muss, but it feels like a versatile, mom-friendly, wearable pair of jeans. Just in general, Madewell jeans, wait for it, are made well. So with these jeans, I just paired it with a really simple, but not simple, tee. This is a pink tee by Treasure and Bond. It's so soft and comfortable, I often sleep in it. I love the little cutouts at the shoulder, and it has this really soft, vintage -y look and feel to the tee. It's a great t-shirt, like I can't say enough good things about it. This sweater by Free People, which is a huge, oversized crochet sweater, I picture this like, chilly nights on the beach, by the fire, a little bit sexy, you know, you could throw it off the shoulder, and it will keep you warm. It will also hide everything. It's so oversized that you could fit anything underneath there. So I like that sweater as well. I wanted to show you some white jeans also. If you missed it, I did just do a video on five outfit ideas for your white skinny jeans, so you might wanna reference that, and I'll put a link to that in the description box. But with this look, I just kept it really simple. I paired it with this really pretty light blue linen tee. Again, you can see it has a cool cutout on the side, and it's a little bit different, so it's a not so basic basic. And I love the color, and again, it's just paper thin, so it's gonna keep you cool and you're not gonna feel hot wearing it. I paired it with this belt. I wanted to show you kind of a close-up look of the belt. It's a really good looking belt. I love this color. 
and it's got a nice heft to it. It's a really weighty belt. And I think that this belt for me is going to be a heavy hitter. And I think you guys will really love it. It would be a crime against humanity if I didn't talk about these espadrilles. I don't know, one out of five bloggers at the Fashion Blogger Conference was wearing these wedges. No joke. I saw them over and over and over and over again. They're incredibly comfortable. They're super chic and flattering. They come in three colors. They're affordable. They're not gonna break the bank. You will wear the crap out of them this summer. You gotta get these wedges. Like if there's one thing you get out of this whole lookbook video, that's the piece you should get. Maybe a t-shirt too. But again, you may not wanna wear flats, so you could always do a really cute sandal. I wanted to just talk about this sandal for a minute. So this sandal looks very similar to a couple different sandals. So the first one is the the original was the Hermes H sandal, and that obviously is very expensive. And then there's a dupe of that made by Steve Madden that is very popular. I ordered a pair of those and I found them so uncomfortable. So what I did was I ordered this pair instead that looks very similar by Sam Edelman. And these, of course, because we love Sam Edelman, has this has cushion and it doesn't, my foot when it's in here does not slide around like crazy. So the other ones, my, my toes were just like doing this. Whereas with this one, my toes really kind of stay put. So th the other one was not even close to being an option for me. They're a little bit more, but I think it's worth the investment for that extra cushion. I didn't really style these with anything, but they're so cute and I just wanted to show them to you. These are a pair of Mark Fisher Dorsey pointed toe flats. And I just thought they were really chic and lovely. So far for a pointy toe flat, this is the best one that I've found. The next look is a really beautiful, very simple, one and done type of outfit. And it's this blue dress with a knot in the front. It's just not overly designed. It's very simple. It drapes beautifully. And it's just got that one detail in the front to give you some shape. The color is gorgeous. This dress is perfect. You will wear it again and again and again. And I paired it with those gorgeous wedges I just talked about. And then you can also do a flat. I wanted to show you guys these adorable kitten heels from J. Crew. They're linen and glitter. It's a very odd combination, but it really works and they are very sweet shoes. And then you could do a skimmer, you could do a sandal. You know, there are certainly other options that you could wear with this really chic blue dress. And then the last dress I wanted to show you guys is something that I'm picturing like, it's a really hot day, maybe you're going to the beach that day, maybe you're going to a pool party that night. It's something that you can dress up or dress down, and it's a really flattering, lovely maxi dress in a black and white striped print. So it's horizontal stripes across the chest and vertical stripes on the skirt portion. So it's really the most strategic way to place those stripes. Like you, that's what you want to do with those stripes. The dress runs pretty long, I'm wearing wedges with this and it still is pretty long on me. So what I would suggest is just getting your scissors out, your really sharp scissors and cutting it yourself. There's no hem. It's a really lightweight jersey fabric. So all you have to do is trim along the bottom and, and cut it so it's the length that you want it to be. As always, I will put links to all of the outfits below in the description box. Please do let me know if you have any questions at all. Don't forget that I'm over on busbystyle.com as well. If you subscribe to the newsletter over there, you do get a lookbook and a couple of wardrobe basics checklists to help you out with your wardrobe needs. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and a huge thank you again to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. And I will see you all next time. Bye.